Well, welcome back to our exciting series of training videos devoted to the Acronis Files Cloud. This series of three complimentary videos is designed especially for novice users who do not have any experience with the Acronis Files Cloud. In this video, we will have a look at the installation, configuration, and basic functionality of the mobile client. Let's get started. The mobile client for the Acronis Files Cloud is a sophisticated application available for a wide range of mobile devices powered by iOS, Android, and Windows mobile operating systems. It allows you to automatically synchronize, share, and manage all your files and folders stored in the Acronis File Cloud server directly from your smartphone or tablet. In order to download a mobile client, navigate to the App Store, Microsoft Store, or Google Play, depending on the type of mobile device, and look for the Files Cloud application. Alternatively, you can log into the web-based version of the Acronis Files Cloud Navigate to your user profile, and in the pop-up menu, select Download Acronis Files Cloud Client. Click on the suitable type of mobile client to open it with the corresponding application store. The installation process of the mobile client is very easy. When you launch the client for the first time, you'll be asked to provide the service address or the URL of your Acronis Files Cloud server, and your login and password. As soon as the client is launched, navigate to the main menu. Here you can see three main sections, Favorites, Acronis Files Cloud, and On My Device. Favorites contains all the folders bookmarked by you. Acronis Files Cloud is a local folder synchronized with your account in the Acronis Files Cloud. Finally, On My Phone or On My Android is a local folder that is not synchronized with the Acronis Files Cloud. You can use this folder, for example, to prepare some drafts of your files and move them later through the Acronis Files Cloud folder. In subsequent sections of this video, we will have a look at the mobile client for iPhone. However, the user interface and corresponding operations for other types of mobile clients are absolutely the same. Let's have a look at the folder level operations. In order to create a new folder, press the New button and select Create New Folder. Specify the name for the new folder and press the Create button to complete the operation. For each folder, you can perform the following operations. First, you can bookmark the folder and add it to the Favorites folder. Second, you can sync the folder with the Acronis Files Cloud server. Third, you can delete the folder. Please bear in mind that this operation is irreversible. If you delete a folder, all the files and subfolders comprising that folder will be deleted permanently you will not be able to restore those entities even through the web-based version of the Acronis Files Cloud. Therefore, think twice before deleting any folder. Fourth, you can make a copy of the folder and paste it to another folder. Fifth, you can move the folder to another location. Sixth, you can rename the folder. Seventh, you can archive the folder as a zip file. As an option, you can protect the zip archive with a password. And 
finally, you can share the folder with both internal and external users. As an option, you can allow new users to edit and delete the folder and its content, as well as to invite other users. Moreover, you can specify the conditions for expiring new user profiles. Finally, you can customize your invitation and send it to new users in one of 12 available languages. Let's have a look at the file level operations. In order to create a new file, select a target folder where the file should be saved and press the new button. Press create new file and select a suitable file type. The file types supported by the mobile client include but are not limited to docx, xlsx, pptx, pdf, and txt. Specify a name for a new file and press the create button and complete the operation. Depending on the file type, you might be asked to provide some additional information, for example, author's names. Those steps are optional and can be easily skipped. It should be noted that the file editor embedded into the mobile client is a full-fledged editor. Along with standard text editing capabilities, you can add and manage images, photos, and various shapes. Moreover, in the case of PDF files, you can add and manage text annotations, voice annotations, and electronic signatures, as well as switch between various view types or enable night mode. For each file, you can perform the following operations. Delete, copy, move, rename, archive, and share. Those operations are similar to the ones at the folder level. Moreover, you can open and edit a file in other editors installed on your mobile device. Finally, let's have a look at the general settings of the mobile client. Thus, press the Settings button. If you're a novice user, we recommend keeping all the settings at their default values. Alternatively, if you're an experienced user, you might want to change the following settings. First, you can turn the password protection on. Second, you can increase the timeout if your bandwidth is low. Third, you can change the text file encoding according to your language's peculiarities. Fourth, you can amend auto-sync settings. For example, you might want to automatically sync your content with the Acronis file server every 10 to 15 minutes. Finally, you can delete your current account or add one more account in the same or another Acronis file server. That's it with the mobile client. Are you excited about the capabilities of Acronis Files Cloud and its desktop and mobile clients? Please don't hesitate to contact us and request a trial account for the Acronis Files Cloud.